In addition to manual, all of conception mean the difference between life and death. As already mentioned, all for the panel in the central control room. These detectors provide on board the ship and will set off an alarm in the control room that will indicate the location of the fire. In some cases, they will set off an automatic extinguishing system, seal off pass and start or stop sections of the, ve the vessel. Surveyors will need to establish the condition of fire detection and alarm systems throughout the vessel. Equipment and documentation will be checked to see if the fixed fire detection and alarm systems are fully operational and tested regularly. In order for crew members to effectively and safely fight a fire, they must be well acquainted with the extinguishing units on board and what types of fires they should and should not. Click on the buttons below for more about and advances have been made around the G. When using war purpose is not only to choke the fire, the energy out of the fire. The most effective use of water as an or steam. One litre water will equal approximately 1700 litres of steam or fog. In other words, it does not take much water to choke a fire. In order to effectively convert one litre of tis of fog, you will need to use equipment. Most importantly, search has shown that droplet sizes of 2 to 0.3 millimetres delivered through a spray angle of fog will provide effective extinguishments while also providing sufficient. One type of nozzle that uses this effect is called the quick results in quick evaporation, resulting in a better extinguishing effect. Less water spillage causing more effective protection from heat radiation and flames. As mentioned in the basic portion of it, you should use to be checked on a regular basis, and even if they have not been used, they will occasionally need refilling to a loss of pressure. Upon inspection, one of the points of the survey is to check that portable fire extinguishers are in order, with operating instructions clearly marked. In order for firefighters to effectively operate, they must feel confident in both their protective gear equipment. Good pro both protective under and outer garments, hood, boots and helmet. Reflective metallic suits should not be used since they are designed only to radiate heat away from the body and do not provide sufficient insulation protection. In close quarters, these suits can actually be more harmful than helpful. Firefighters with communication or VHF radios. This equipment is absolutely necessary in order to effectively coordinate and assist fire teams in action.
Classification. Jet delegated by the seven classification societies. Surveys must be conducted in order to receive or required certification, such ship safety equipment certificate, comply with the test procedures and performance specifications that have been laid down by the Inal Maritime Organization. Certifications that are approved and certified by the ship's respective maritime authority for use on its registered ship is generally acceptable. Upon inspection, Surveyors must be presented with all of the relevant arrangement and plan documents, such as the fire control and arrangement, etc. The checklist of various other things that will be inspected by the SIR include Are inspection records inventory lists maintained and kept up to date? Are fire mains, pumps, hoses and nozzles kept in good order and available for immediate use? A physical inspection will be conducted on a random number of hoses. Is the emergency fire pump fully operational and are the starting instructions clearly displayed? Are the operating instructions for fake displayed? Is the crew familiar with operation of fixed systems? Are the isolating valves in fire foam system lines clocked and operational? Are fire fits, including breathing apparatus, good condition and ready for immediate use? Are breathing apparatus set fully charged air bottles? Are fully charged spare air bottles of the international ship to shore fire connection readily available? Is its location clearly marked? Does the engine room's fixed fire extinguishing system appear to be in good condition? Are there any other fixed fire extinguishing systems, such as external monitors, and do they appear to be in good condition? In addition, crew members may be required to run out hoses and start fire pumps and emergency.